What's going on everybody, David here. Today I wanna to show you guys a Lightroom add-on called Nick Software. And it is a really, really good application. I use a variety of their add-ons, but uh, I always use Vivesa, I think is, is I use that every time. Uh, and there's some other ones that I'll show you in future videos, but uh, let me just show you this one really quickly. Uh, so you have your image here, you've worked on it just a little bit. Like on this one, I, I, I brought down the highlights, I added some or brought in some of the shadows. So this is the image that I have. So what you do is you go over to photo, click on photo there, drop down to edit in and then move over and a variety of different things you can edit it in. So this is Photoshop, uh, it sh says the last one that I edited was with a Vivesa and then these are all the Nick software add-ons. So you have the analog, color effects, the define, uh, sharpener, uh, silver effects, and then the visa. This is what I want. So you click on that one. And what it will do, it will, it will ask you if you want to make the adjustments and bring it back to Lightroom. That's what I want to do. So you edit. And then it will bring up the application and then I'll show you. They use these little waypoints and it's really neat because it really targets the area that you want to focus on. So in this image, just looking at it, I still have a lot of work to do with it. But one thing that I want to bring back is I want to bring back the clouds. Now, you can use the traditional in Lightroom, you can use the gradient tool where you just bring it down here and then you'll have, you'll have, you'll bring the clouds out. So it'll be like a darker exposure, you bring it down, you bring the clouds back. However, you have these buildings right here. So you have a building here, you have these, uh, this, uh, plant here, the light here, the background there. So if I brought it straight down, it's it's gonna cover all that. And I don't wanna cover all that. I want, I want that to still be there. I don't want it to look darker than anything else. So what you'll do is you'll use this tool. So you have over here, you have this little control point. Click on it, bring it over to your, to your, uh, where you want to uh, edit, click on it, and then it'll put a little point there. And then I wanna bring up the color bring up a little bit of saturation, just a little bit, not too much. And then my structure, bring that up. And that's gonna give you, it's kind of like a, kind of like a clarity, a little more HDR look. That's pretty, pretty much what it's doing. And so once I've uh, created one the way that I, I like it, then I'll, I'll hold the control and D key. And each time I press, I'll hold down the control. Each time I press D, it's gonna make a duplicate. So that's what I want. So grab that and just start moving these around. And you can move them all around the sky, wherever you have <clears throat> these different areas that you want to fix here. And so you can dra drag it anywhere. Now the waypoint, the, the center of this point is what is, it's affecting anything that's it, that same, that same color. So I can, drag this off here and let me just give you an example let's see i want to try a little bit more there you go a little more clouds a little more there now make a couple of more duplicates there and you see it brings out the sky even more now if i want to drag it down to the building it's going to do the same thing to the building you can see the colors changing in the building as well as the foliage in front i can do the same thing there so it's just really, really targets the areas that you want to without having to do a mask or anything like that. You can bring them, bring out the uh, colors and, and, and uh, that. Now, you, now with clouds, you don't want to go too much because then they really, really start looking fake. I mean, I want it to look natural. I'm going to bring this image down in uh, contrast anyway, so it'll look a little different. But uh, as far as the waypoints, Vivesa, that's what I use. It's a great tool. Uh, and once you're done with it, just click save and it will bring it back to uh, back to Lightroom. And so that's great. So you can go back and forth from Lightroom to Nick software, back to Lightroom to Nick software. Uh, so it really, really works out. It also works with uh, Photoshop. So you can do the same things with Photoshop. Uh, you can go from Photoshop to Nick software and then back to Photoshop. So if you use Photoshop, you can do the same thing. So. This is it, this is the finished image here, and this is what it used to look like. So there's, there's your sky there, not bad. I mean, it's still, it's okay, but this is the new sky. So you see, you can see a little bit more definition and all that. And like I said, this is 
not even close to being done. There's other things that I would I would be doing to it. I would definitely drop down my contrast and I'd work on the, the green in the front, but it's still a really, really good way to uh, bring out the, the, the clouds. And this is the best software that I found to do that. All right, if you have any comments, please post them below. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.